great people around you, greet them, Emmanuel. Viewers around the world, greet free people in your home and greet them, Emmanuel. If you're on the plane, greet them, Emmanuel. If you're on the ship, greet them, Emmanuel. Anywhere you find yourself and you're watching Emmanuel TV right now, come on, greet free people around you and say, Emmanuel. Oui, vous les spectateurs, Emmanuel, et oui, Dieu est avec nous. Saluez trois personnes autour de vous et dites-leur Emmanuel. Que vous soyez sur le bateau ou dans l'avion, saluez trois personnes autour de vous et dites-leur Emmanuel, Dieu est avec nous. Emmanuel, Emmanuel signifie Dios con nosotros si es nuestro saludo aquí en la sinagoga. Así que salude Emmanuel a su vecino, salude a su Manuel, a Emmanuel en el avión, salude a todos, Emmanuel en el carro, en donde quiera que ustedes se encuentren, saludos Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel, God is with us. We'd like to welcome you to the December 31st, 2013 candlelight service right here from the Synagogue Church of All Nations headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria, in Jesus' name. Oui, nous voulons vous souhaiter la bienvenue tous les spectateurs cette nuit pour la soirée des chandelles ici avec nous tous à la synagogue Église de Nations en direct sur Emmanuel Télévision. Quiero ser evidente, bienvenido a esta noche de velas aquí en la sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones este 31 de diciembre. Bienvenidos, sean bendecidos todos. Yes, we'd like to welcome you because uh, wherever you find yourself, Jesus Christ has invited you to this uh, candlelight service because he loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you that will last forever. And he wants to use his servant, Prophet TB Joshua, to usher us into the year 2014, the year of destiny, the year of bridge, and the year that you will discover yourself. Oui, nous savons qu'aujourd'hui, le Seigneur Jésus-Christ nous aime et c'est pour cela qu'il a permis que nous soyons tous présents ici aujourd'hui pour pouvoir utiliser l'homme de Dieu prophétique de Joshua pour nous faire rentrer dans cette nouvelle année 2014. C'est une nouvelle année qu'il a appelée l'année du pont, l'année de la destinée, l'année où vous allez vous découvrir vous-même dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. L'année dernière, pour cette année et pour l'année qui viendra bientôt, cette année de 2014, dans quelques heures, rendons grâce grâce au Seigneur pour ce qu'il fait, ce qu'il a fait et ce qu'il fera dans le nom de Jésus. Pie para agradecer a nuestro Señor Jesucristo por lo que hizo los años pasados, por lo que va a hacer en el año 2014 y por lo que está por hacer hoy en su vida en el nombre de Jesucristo. Thank you, thank you. Commit the ministers of God into the able hands of God Almighty. Begin to pray for God's mercy and favor to speak for the ministers of God. Pray. Maintenant, remettons les ministres de Dieu entre les mains de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Demandons que la miséricorde et la faveur de Dieu continuent de les localiser, de parler pour eux dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Vamos a levantar nuestras voces y vamos a orar por los ministros que vendrán a ministrar palabra, sanidad, liberación el día de hoy. Vamos a pedirle para que Dios los encuentre al punto de su necesidad y su misericordia y su favor fluya a través de ellos. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me.
So once again, would like to welcome you to the Candlelight Service 2013. It's going to be a Candlelight Service like no other before. You're going to be blessed in a tremendous way. The tears of the past are going to be right behind you. You're going to be looking forward into the future in Christ Jesus as we enter this year of destiny. And so you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Bienvenue encore à nouveau dans cette soirée, la soirée des chandelles de 2013. Et nous savons que cette soirée ne sera pas comme les autres, que nous avons des bénédictions en réserve que le Seigneur a pour nous. Et nous savons que nous allons être bénis pour entrer dans cette nouvelle année 2014 de notre destinée. Queridos televidentes, queridos visitantes, una vez más, bienvenido a la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las Naciones y Emanuel TV. Recuerde que este es el año que usted va a recibir ese destino divino en su vida. No deje pasar esta oportunidad. Manténgase conectado a Emanuel TV y bienvenido una vez más. Gloria sea a Dios. So right now it is uh, time for us to do our responsibility. to all the Synagogue Church of All Nations, TV Joshua, and Emmanuel TV social networking sites. The app is simple and easy and is compatible with iPhones, Android devices, iPads, and Android tablets. You can send your prayer requests and watch Emmanuel TV live and pray along with Prophet TV Joshua or send your testimonies and much, much more. Available for free download at www.emmanuel.tv. Hallelujah! 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 It is His grace. Jesus is the reason why we're here today. He is the reason why we're here today. He is our praise. If you know that he has done so much for you, I want another big round of applause to the mighty God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Omnipotent, the Prince of Peace. Let's give him the praise. Come on, continue to give him praise. Give him praise. I can hear you. Give him praise. Give him praise. All over the building. Give him praise. 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 Worship him. Worship him. With the hands and say thank you, Jesus. With the hands and say thank you, Jesus. All the way long, you're with a vein in my face. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For being there for me. Thank you, Jesus. For being there for my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for intervening in my affairs. Come on, wave your hands and say thank you, Lord. He's worthy of our worship. What a God we have to. 
worship. What a son we are to place. And what a future lies before us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Are you ready to worship him? Come on, if you're ready, come on, shout hallelujah. 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 Come on, I just want everybody to join me in worship. the depth of your heart. Give me worship.
worship him. Worship him. Come on, worship him. Worship him. Worship him. It's worthy. It's worthy. It's worthy. It's worthy. Worship him. Worship him. It's worthy. Come on, worship him. Oh, Jehovah. 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 It's worthy. Jehovah. Jesus, that hallelujah is not resounding enough. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Let the whole world know that the children of God are here. Citizens of heaven, shout hallelujah! hallelujah. Citizens of heaven, shout hallelujah! hallelujah. Do you believe that something spectacular is about to happen in your life tonight? If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember when God wanted to give the children of Israel victory over the city of Jericho. The weapon he gave to them was that word hallelujah. He says, shout hallelujah. It's not by might, it's not by power. It's not by your strength, it's not by your weapon that you will overcome this city. But just give glory to my name and shout hallelujah and the words will come down. So if you believe tonight that every world of Jericho in your life will crumble, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Once again, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and on behalf of his able servant, Senior Prophet TV Joshua, we welcome you all to today's uh, wonderful service, the crossover service, in Jesus' name. Yes. Right now, we are about to enter into a new dawn. Amen. You must be prepared for that wonderful encounter. Are you ready for that wonderful encounter? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So in the meantime, let us have our seats. À présent, nous vous demandons de crier Alléluia, crier Alléluia pour le Seigneur, afin que tous les murs de Jéricho qui sont dans votre vie puissent tomber et que vous puissiez avoir votre liberté au nom de Jésus. Recuerde que hay que gritar aleluya, aleluya es el grito de gozo hacia nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Le damos nuevamente la bienvenida aquí a la Sinaú Iglesia de todas las naciones. Praise the Lord. Please, before we move ahead, um, Honorable Kennedy, please, if you are here, meet the... Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, 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 you are welcome to 2014. This year will not be like any other year. If you believe that, can you show your excitement right now?
Yes, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, says that it is time for us to change our life from failure to success. And in order to change our lives, we must change something that we do daily. And right now, it is time for us to listen to people that discovered the secret of success. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. pay attention. Yeah. The person that is about to talk has something that I need to know. So let us focus and listen attentively to these wonderful faith-building testimonies that they're about to share right now of how God Almighty turned their situations around from setback to breakthrough, from sickness to good health, from hardship to success in Jesus' mighty name. And as you are listening to it and as you are rejoicing with them, you should know that as you are rejoicing with them, your own testimony is about to be restored as well in Jesus' name. So right now we have a couple before us here that have come to share the wonderful testimony of what God Almighty has done in their lives. We want to listen to them right now. So please can you introduce yourself to us, tell us your name, where you're from, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel. Uh, my name is Andrew Moyo. I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm currently based in South Africa. The lovely woman beside me uh, is Catherine. She's my wife. And we understand that you have a wonderful testimony to share with the people of God or what God Almighty has done in your own life. So can you just start by telling us the challenges that you're experiencing in your life? Uh, we, it's difficult to, to say, but I'm very proud today to talk about it because we, we had a problem of barrenness for the past 18 years. I think those who have got a similar situation like me, they know how it feels. We felt so bad because when we met young couples with their children, it was so difficult, it was so terrible. And can you explain, you said you had this problem of barrenness, where have you been to in search of a solution to this problem? Uh, we, we tried so many times, we have gone to the herbalists, different types of churches, and everywhere, but we couldn't, it couldn't work. Okay, and can you tell us, uh, with this problem, you saw other men and women around you that were getting pregnant, they were giving birth to children, and having their own children. Can you tell us, how did that make you feel as a man when you saw the people with their children, you knowing that you yourself were not able to have one? The, this was the difficult moment in my life. It was so bad that, uh, if I see other couples with their children, and while it's myself and my wife, we didn't have one, it was so bad. Or if to see other couples buying things for their daughters or, or, or sons, it was so painful. We, we, it was so sad. I could tell even my wife, uh, you could see that there's something wrong with her. Okay, and as you came uh, with this problem of barrenness for 13 long years, can you explain to us what happened next? When we managed to, to come here at the SCON, we, man we, we, we did get an opportunity to receive the anointing water. We did take the anointing water, we went back to South Africa. Uh, we managed to administer uh, the anointing water. We had faith and hope that uh, it will be okay. After watching so many testimonies from other, other couples who had uh, so many years with this similar problem we had of barrenness, then today I'm, I'm very proud. As you can see now, I'm standing with my wife here. She's five months pregnant. Well, can you put your hands together for Jesus Christ? If your God is the same God that still works wonders in your life, can you show your excitement for Jesus? So you came to the synagogue church of all nations, received the anointing water, you ministered it in Jesus' name, you met as husband and wife, and after that, can you tell us once again what happened? Uh, after administering the anointing water, my wife just, she woke up one morning and then she said, She's not feeling okay, there's something happening uh, in her stomach. Then I said, no, it's fine, we need to... Uh, oh, in fact, she just told me, we, we stayed for a week, and then 
she didn't see a, a menstruation period. Then they said, no, let's go and see the doctor. Maybe we can, uh, maybe it's just something. We didn't even think that it was the pregnancy. Then we went to the doctor. Unfortunately, the doctor told us that she's pregnant. Wow, glory be to Jesus Christ. That is a wonderful testimony that our brother has just shared. And just for the glory of God, we want to hear from Madam just one word. If you can come over to the other side here and tell us you, as a wife, having this problem for many years, how is it affecting you as a woman? Emmanuel. As a woman, I was frustrated, confused. I didn't know what to do next. I was so insecure. Then when we came here to Scorn, the place of Libat, I was liberated and I'm now free. Wow, can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? And we want to hear from uh, our brother back again. Uh, we are seeing some medical reports next to you here. And we are seeing some different photos there. Can you just explain what are we seeing on these medical reports right here? On this medical report which is, uh, which I hear, the first one, it shows that uh, the doctor said we, we had uh, primary inf infertility. We couldn't have children. And on the second medical report? The second medical report, that's the one now which is stating that my wife, she's definitely five months pregnant. Wow. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? So we want Madame to show us the evidence right now. Can you just uh, show us what uh, we are hearing from your mouth? There you are seeing the evidence right there that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There's never a problem that he cannot solve. There's never a burden that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ cannot bear. And Madam, can you just, for the benefit of viewers all over the world right now, many of them find themselves in similar situations. They too are suffering from barrenness, and they are looking for us. Can you just advise women out there right now about what God Almighty can do in their lives? Start by telling us your name also for the benefit of the viewers. My name is Catherine Nyarazi. I would like to advise some women who, are, who were in my similar situation that they must trust on God and they must let God fight the battle. And they must also come to score and they will definitely get the result they are looking for. Glory be to Jesus Christ. And we also want to hear the advice from our brother. We learned that he has an advice to share with viewers out there as well uh, who are watching this candlelight service and they're about to go into the new year of 2014. So we want to hear, so can you tell us what is the advice to viewers watching right now and people sitting down here? Uh, to all the viewers uh, and uh, all the people sitting here, I think this is 2013. We need to leave behind everything for 2013. Once you are here, 2013 is over. You as the man of God said, it is the year of destiny. You won't, get, you won't go back to your countries or remain the same. To all the viewers and people who are here, if you have the similar problem like we had with my wife, come here the scone. If you've got the opportunity of getting the anointing water, I advise you, this is the weapon. And Jesus is the only solution. Don't seek any other solution. But come to Jesus. Jesus will, 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 will help you with everything you are looking for. Thank you. Wow. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Yes, indeed, the Bible says that when we trust in our friends, they will disappoint us and leave us. When we trust in ourselves, we will be disappointed. When we trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we will never be confounded in time or eternity. So we thank God for this wonderful testimony in your life, and we rejoice together with you. And we know that the better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come in your life in Jesus' name. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de ce couple, ce couple qui nous vient d'Afrique du Sud, qui avait le problème de stérilité. Ils se sont mariés depuis 13 ans et la femme n'était pas enceinte. Ils ont fait toutes les analyses possibles et les médecins ont eu à leur confirmer qu'ils ne pouvaient pas avoir un enfant. Ils étaient venus à la synagogue église de toutes les nations et se sont procurés l'eau d'ancien et après usage. 
Ils ont découvert que la femme est tombée enceinte. Ils sont là aujourd'hui pour témoigner du, des bontés du Seigneur dans leur vie et remercier le Seigneur pour tous ses bienfaits. Quiero televidente, continuamos con estos poderosos testimonios del agua de unción. Esta pareja que viene de, desde Sudáfrica, originarios de Zimbabue, padeciendo durante 13 años de esterilidad, nos, nos muestran en sus certificados médicos como comprueba que definitivamente tenían problema de esterilidad y posteriormente su certificado médico de que hoy para la gloria de Dios, ella está cuatro meses embarazada después de por gloria de Dios y por gracia de Dios obtener el agua de unción. Gloria a Dios. Hoy nos demuestra esta pareja con eh, tanto gozo que está completamente libre de este problema de infertilidad debido al agua de unción. Ellos después de obtenerla aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones, el agua de unción, se unieron como mujer y, eh, y esposo y hoy nos demuestran cómo ella está gozosa y feliz de estar cuatro meses embarazada. Gloria a Dios, continuamos con más poderosos testimonios del agua de unción. Continuamos. Glory be to Jesus Christ, our brother and our sister. We rejoice with you for what God Almighty has done in your life. We want to encourage you also to stay close to Jesus Christ. Make his word the standard for your life. And make sure that you let the name of Jesus Christ be glorified in your life. So that everything you have received shall be permanent in your life. And we know that you are still coming back with a wonderful testimony for the glory of God. We want to encourage you also to stay close to Jesus Christ. Make sure that you make the word of God the standard standard for this child that you're going to bring up in the way of the Lord so that when he grows up we will not depart from it in Jesus mighty name and also we want to address the viewers concerning this medium of the anointing what we want you to understand that it is not the water itself that heals delivers or blesses but Jesus Christ since the anointing has been done in his name and remember as we read in the Bible that God Almighty used many different mediums throughout time to set people aside for God's special attention and today in our day and generation God Almighty is also using this medium of the anointing wanted to set people aside for his special attention we thank God for that we want to encourage you as you have shared your testimony and uh, that in your life make Jesus Christ the center and everything you receive shall remain permanent and the blessings of God in your life will continue to be multiplied in Jesus mighty name to testify to what the Lord God Almighty did in his life through the medium of the anointing water. If you have not known the power of God and his efficacy in this anointing water, we believe by the time you listen to this testimony, you will have every reason to believe that truly God can express himself through any medium. So I welcome you once again to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself and share with the people of God your testimony. Emmanuel. Children of God, Emmanuel. My name is Honorable Ken Emma Kai. I am a politician. By the grace of God, I am the chairman of People's Democratic Party in Anambra State. I am here to testify to the goodness of the Lord and to inform you, my brethren, that we, there is every need for us to take every single word that proceeds out of the mouth of the prophets of God seriously. As we are going to hear the prophet this night, I was here on the 31st December 2012. When the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, gave anointing stickers, if you remember those of you that were here on the third first night, like this night, a year ago, the man of God gave anointing stickers to every member of the congregation that third first night. But before handing over these anointing stickers, the man of God did say something. He says that one of the stickers is for the car, while one is for the house. 
And he went further to say, if I give you this sticker, if you have one car, you will have two. If you don't have any, you will get one. For those of you that were here last year, you will bear me witness that these were the exact words of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Am I right? Yes. Now, I was opportuned. I was sitting like you that day, and I got my own sticker from Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. That was on the 31st of December. And the moment the stickers were handed over to me, I said that though I have one or two cars in my house, but I was not going to use this sticker on any old car. That I believed the words from the prophet of God. And my brethren, between January and February 2013, God, through the medium of the anointed stickers, gave me three brand new cars. And not just cars. One is a Toyota 2013 Land Cruiser. I have the pictures on my phone which I'm going to show you. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. The word of God through his anointed servant will always surely come to pass. And that's exactly what he's testifying to, that it was a night like this a year ago when the anointed man of God made a proclamation that anyone who received the anointing sticker will be blessed with a car if he or she had none. And if anyone had a car and received the sticker, he was going to be blessed with another. And he took that message by faith and took the sticker and began to pray with the sticker and God Almighty made that come to pass in his life as not more than two months before that time he could boast of two brand, three brand new vehicles. And that is what he's testifying to right now. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. And remember the man who is talking, as he has said, is an honorable and the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, that is PDP, in Anambra State. And he said what God has done in his life is so great that he cannot hide his testimony and that's why he's here tonight to share his wonderful testimony. So continue your testimony, sir. So here is a picture of the Land Cruiser. Look at the screen. That is a picture of one of the cars. And what 2013. 2013 model. Yes. Thank you very much. Please continue your testimony. We understand you have more testimonies. So I have other pictures here, but for one more time. So I have three brand new cars through the prophecy of the man of God. Then, on the, you are all aware that the governorship election in Anambra State was conducted and concluded on the 1st of December. On that same 1st of December, after the result of the elections were announced, I drove myself in the Toyota Land Cruiser 2013 model and, and attended a political meeting in Uli, in Ihala local government area of Anambra State. Meanwhile, the three cars that I bought through the prophecy of the man of God, using the medium of the stickers, I have stickers, the anointing stickers, both in front and at the rear of the cars. And I have anointing water in each of the pigeon holes. So on that first two day, the first day of December 2013, I drove myself to Uli, like I told you earlier, and on my way back, on getting to those, there are some of you here from Anambra State, so I'm calling places you know, 
on getting to a junction after Agoro. Between Nise and Doka, there is a junction called Anya Fijiji in Anambra State, in that area. And it was a very busy road. It was happening between 6.30 and 7 p.m. Then, on getting to that junction, a RAV4 Jeep came with speed and overtook my car. Immediately, the RAV4 Jeep overtook me. The same Jeep blocked me. And how many of you were in the car? I was just alone driving myself. So when the RAV4 Jeep blocked me, the four doors of the Jeep opened at once. Lo and behold, they were gunmen. Numbering about six of them, they came down and people were now running for their, for their lives. These gunmen were now started shooting. They were not shooting in the air. They were not shooting to scare people. But each and every one of them was shooting at close range at me and the car. And this lasted for about four, about one hour. If in my back there I have the, the newspaper reports of what I'm telling you, it was all, it was even on the internet. Because of the place where it happened and how it happened, it didn't take time for the whole world to come to know about it. I was just holding my steering while this shooting was going on. So, with the amount of the sophisticated weapons that this gang of armed men had in their position, and the amount of rapid shooting they were doing to my car, people there thought that nobody, no occupant of this vehicle will be alive after that shooting. So people were jumping out of their vehicles, running for their lives. But for me, inside the car, it was like a dream. It was like somebody was telling me a story. Hallelujah. So at a point, I was wondering, I was asking myself, are you alive or dead? How come I was not getting any sound of any of the bullets hitting me or hitting the car? But I knew I was hearing the sound of the guns. And my brothers and sisters, these gunmen were not shooting from just one direction. Because to them, they were unable to comprehend what was going on, what was happening. They knew they were shooting somebody at close range. They knew the type of weapon they had. So how come that they the man is looking at them, unperturbed, holding the steering, and how come they are not seeing any wound or any opening on the car? So, for them, I believe it, it became even at a point a thing of pride, because people were watching. Those people were running, but they were watching. So they needed to find out, they needed to at least achieve something. They started going around the vehicle. The one in front will now come to the rear and continue his own shooting from there. At a point, my brothers and sisters, I, because the other four were still in front of my own car, and their driver was holding the steering. At a point, their own driver started shouting, calling on his colleagues that they were they, they almost killed him. So the bullets, um, the bullets that were being shot to, at my own car and at me began to hit their own car. And even from that point you can see openings in their car. So the young man started shouting, no, no, stop, stop, you are shooting the right, wrong direction. Stop! And he was telling them in Igbo, there are people from my state. <laughs> he was telling them, no, it's not him that you are shooting. You are shooting at me. You will kill me. So they will move to that direction. 
This lasted, like I said, for about one hour. The Commissioner of Police in Anambra State knows this story because when eventually I came out, I will come back to it, but I just want to tell you that when eventually I came out, when I saw the Commissioner of Police and the Director of SSS, I asked them, how did you get the information that when I came out finally, I saw the thing all over the newspaper? And he told me that some of their men were in the vehicles that were trapped in that, by that gun shooting, that they couldn't do anything. So they were calling for reinforcements. At that point, they didn't know who was being attacked. All they knew was that something needs to be done to stop these people from the amount of shooting they are doing at just one vehicle. So, finally, at a stage, I saw the leader of that gang, although at that point I never knew he was the leader, I saw one of them who was restless. He rushed out, dashed out to the boot side, and picked something on the ground. It was sand. So to him and to many people who believe in charms, so to them, they concluded that this man, and because they know me, this man, this is Ken Emaka in Anambra. For, for, for them and a lot of people in Anambra, this Ken Emaka is so one, one, that's the man standing here now, is someone that has so much chance that his chance must come from India or far places. So you mean they started speaking in your language, telling themselves that this man we have been shooting at for the past one hour and nothing's happening to him must have great and powerful charms. Yes. Continue. And for their leader, he needed to prove to me that he has antidote for any such chance. So he went and picked something from his pocket, picked the sand from that place, then did something on his gun, and came back and began to try again. But my brothers, nothing still happened, nothing. Hallelujah. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Don't be surprised. Amen. When you read your Bible, don't be surprised. You will know that our God can do it again and again and again. We are serving the God who rescues and saves. The God of Daniel, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There is nothing impossible for him to do. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. It's just the beginning of the testimony. You haven't heard anything yet. Please continue, sir. So, when they tried everything to no avail, they had like a small meeting by my door, and I could hear them. One was asking, what do we do? He said, shame. What happens? And the other one said, okay, let us... He was now taking permission from the leader to permit them to open my door to shoot at me straight. And the leader said, how is he going to walk if you couldn't get him from the car? Because for the leader, whatever charm that I had, we are charms on my body. So for him, it was my body that was giving protection to the car. So after that argument, the leader came and opened the driver's side where I was. So when he opened it, then the second carried up the, uh, the, his gun again, and to the glory of God, he tried it more than six times. He shot at me straight, more than six times. Straight. While I was seated, he was standing by me, and he opened up. He would try from my head, try my chest, try my legs, nothing happened. Amen. 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 Now tell us, why all this lasted? What was going through your mind? I, I was not disturbed. One, I knew what was happening. It was not strange to me. They were the ones surprised. Because after my last encounter, which you will see in your anointed water booklet, I am that same person who testified November last year and Thursday December who a friend gave a gift of anointing water, which I do not believe in this church, but the anointing water saved me when I, I knew nothing about it, when I do not believe in it. So from that time, I, anywhere I go, including this church, I have my own bottle of anointing water in my pocket. 
So, and I was having it in my pocket. I have my own I wallet of ID card, and in it, I have every sticker, both old and new, of the synagogue church in it. So I was not surprised, so I was just laughing. All I was saying was, God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, prove to them that you are that God, the only living God. And I said again, I, I made a prayer. I, I prayed one prayer to God. I said, God, when I knew nothing about this church, you use this church to get many people from my state and from and this country through my testimonies to yourself and to the house of God. Now give me this mother of testimonies. Prove to these men and men that what the weapons they have is nothing and they are nothing and will ever be nothing compared to the weapons that I have. So when he tried shooting at me that stretch about six times, the leader said to him, I told you. So, and he concluded, he said, all we have to do now is we have to take him out. And he said to me, Oga, Oga Ken, he called me my name straight. That is to show you, it's not as if I ran into them. It's not as if it was a coincidence. So they knew whom they came after. So he said, Oga Ken, you believe your chance are too strong. That since these guns cannot kill you, I'll prove to you today that you will be killed through other means. And I said in my mind, I didn't tell him, I said, today you will know that no force under this earth can kill me. Hallelujah. Today you will know that when, even when I was not a son of Prophet E.B. Joshua, you people were unable to kill me. Not to talk of now, I am his son. Let's go and try. So quietly and peacefully, I came down from the car. I only said to one of them, please don't harm me. We can talk it over. And he saw the level of confidence. So we moved to their car. I entered into their R4. And I thought, naturally, if they are to be kidnappers, armed robbers, even assassins, for any armed robber or any kidnapper, any criminal that will come after you for any reason whatsoever, which includes money, and seize you with a 2013 brand new Land Cruiser Jeep, that would be another attraction for him. So when I entered the uh, RAV4, I thought and believed inside me that they had taken the Land Cruiser. <laughs> 